Hello everyone, welcome to my studio and Merry Christmas. My name is Namdi Okonkwo. I was born in Nigeria. I presently reside in, in Fayetteville, Georgia. I went to school in Hawaii, went to school in Utah, and now I'm calling Georgia home. Well, first of all, I'm really very grateful to be making this presentation to you. I hope you like some of these sculptures that I'm showing to you. I am very grateful to be an artist. You know, I'm very grateful for the talent that God has given me. And I'm very grateful for his guidance. I'm very grateful for my friends, for my family, for all of my loved ones, you know, and for all those that have supported me. There's been a lot of people that have supported me in this journey to be an artist. You know, starting out, I didn't really think I had any talent. We are not for my mother that insisted that I study art. I wouldn't even be an artist today. But somehow she felt an all praise and glory go to my mother because without her, I wouldn't be an artist. You know, somehow she saw something that I, I didn't see. <laughs> she probably was the only one that saw it and she wouldn't let off. She just kept on pushing until finally I decided, well, you know, I probably should listen to her and give this art thing a try. And I'm very happy that I did. All you boys and girls, listen to your mother <laughs> and your dad. You know, there is no day that goes by without me waking up in the morning and thanking God for blessing me with the, the talent to be an artist. So I feel like, I, I truly feel like, you know, being an artist is a calling from God. You know, ever since I can remember, you know, I've always believed that there's a God and I've always wanted to serve him, you know, but I never really knew how not having any kind of talent, like I said, growing up that I can really think of, you know, I didn't really know, you know, how I was going to serve God, but I knew that I, I was yearning to serve him. So when I actually discovered sculpture, when I actually discovered art in general, you know, I felt like ah, this is the avenue, you know, through which that I can serve God. So what I do as an artist, you know, most people look at my work and they ask me, wait, how did you come up with your style? You know, and my, my answer has always been that my style found, found me. You know, I, I can't think of one time that I started looking for a style. You know, when I, I, rem I still remember the first time that I touched clay, I remember feeling that, wow, you know, I found what I was born to do. And, and the more that I worked with, with clay, the more that feeling was emphasized, you know? And um, so what I do is that I let the clay dictate what it wants me to. To do. I don't generally have a preconceived idea of what I want to do. I may have a faint idea, a vague idea of what I want to do, but generally the forms come to me as I actually put my hands in the clay. And lately, actually, there's, and it's a, it's a process of evolution, you know, there's been a few things that have changed, you know, over the years since I've been practicing as an artist. These days, I don't I feel like I don't even need to think about what I'm going to do. All I have to do is sit down, put my hands in clay, and trust that something good is going to is going going to flow through me. You know, beyond anything that I've learned elsewhere. If I've never ever went to church, any church, and all I did was work as an artist, I will have the same knowledge that I do have that there is something, there's a power out there. Because I know that sometimes, you know, when I'm trying to realize a vision that I have as an artist, I see something clearly in my mind, but actually translating it in, in, in three dimensions is very difficult. And sometimes at the verge of giving up, you know, the magic happens, you know, it almost happens as if to tell me that it isn't me, you know, that is the artist, that there's a higher power that works through me and you know, so and I've, I, I've had so many, in so many instances where what I've just shared with you, you know, has happened. And I know without a doubt 
that the best that I can be as an artist is when I'm able to allow that power, that outside force to work through me. You know, it just so happens that because of my personality, and I don't take any credit because, you know, I didn't create myself. You know, I love things that are, that deal with, uh, I love, <laughs> I want to say I love love. Love is really very important to me. People are very important to me, you know, and in all my work, you know, you will see this love, this joy, you know, they are not contrived. I don't sit down and say, you know, I'm going to do something that expresses love. No, I sit down and I pick up my clay. And by the way, maybe this is a good time to say that though these are bronze, I begin with clay. And when the clay is finished, you know, I, clay is very pliable and you can make it bend, hopefully to your will. And, and it's a process of addition and subtraction. And that's one of the reasons that I like working with clay. It's very forgiving, you know. So when the clay sculpture is done, and I like it, you know, it then goes to the foundry where a mold of the sculpture is made. And with that mold, the sculpture is cast into bronze. I want to say thank you for spending this little time with me in my studio. I love you guys all and wish you the very best. And again, in closing, Merry Christmas and may the good Lord be with you and your families and bless you now and always. And I reluctantly, because I'm enjoying speaking with you, say goodbye. <laughs>